Hi everyone and welcome to this video playlist all about your sign. Each week I'll be revealing three more pairs of your spread, so that's seven weeks of content. Join me each week for the next part. Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me today. Here are your cards. Hello Capricorn, how are you today? Here are your next three pairs. So we've got the past, the crowd of your reading, what's coming and what you may need to face in the future. So let's get started. The Empress and the Two of Swords is appearing in your past position. This is asking you to take the blindfold off when it comes to nurturing yourself and valuing yourself. I feel that you're being asked to very clearly look within your emotional self and focus, as we talked about in your previous cards, because having the blindfold done, which is what this card is suggesting, when it comes to valuing yourself and valuing, more importantly, I feel your emotions, because we've got the moon and we're also looking here at the seven of cups, and then I'm jumping into the five of cups, and then we're going into the chariot. These are all emotions. Granted that the chariot is also very much part of your spiritual self, I think it goes hand in hand beautifully, just like the chariot is suggesting, because the chariot is connected to the house of cancer, yourself, your home, your safe place in life. You need to feel safe right now. That is an utter focus, and it's an aspect of you, because we have this going on, being shown here in the Queen of Swords, in today's reading we're also getting King of Pentacles coming in here in a future position. You will manage this. You know, in the past you've just not focused on what it is of value emotionally to yourself. I feel that you're working that through and I feel that the cards are predicting that the exposure and change in yourself is that you will reveal that you've been disappointed in the past, that you will reveal the fact that there are new opportunities. The Five of Cups is, is about grieving, to let go of something in order to be able to move forwards and see that the way is full of opportunities. And you've got that going on up here, which is very important about what you're facing and what's coming in. And also things you can change. If the outcome is not what you want, if you don't want any more grief, then it's time to actually let go of that. If you are looking at the fact that it isn't time for you to let go of things like I'm disappointed, I'm sad, I'm bereft, then obviously this will come in waves surrounding you. And perhaps you are grieving right now, maybe not for a physical loss, but for something that's so important in your life. The Wheel of Fortune, because this is a card of opportunity and this is further opportunities. So this whole thing is drawing between the unconscious mind and the subconscious mind. And so in your subconscious fears, you're feeling a little scattered. In your conscious reality up here, you're in charge. You're aware that there's past hurts, disappointments, grief, sadness, a loss, emotional loss. Nothing physical in the loss at all. But you may need time. Realising that and valuing yourself enough to actually stop burying it and allow it to come to the surface and focus on it. You know, how about you focus on whatever it is that's troubling you, causing this, and allow yourself to have your thoughts rolling, like in visualisation or meditation, or allow yourself to write it down, or how about you sit down and give yourself five minutes, ten minutes, you decide on the time frame, to simply focus on what it is that's troubling you with that absolute clarity like the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is, I'm focused on that, I'm not thinking about anything else. So for maybe five, ten minutes of your day that you are focused on what it is that's bothering you and upsetting you. And once you've actually done that, say, right, time's up. I'll do this again later, tomorrow. I'll give it five minutes. So you are controlling it by making sure that you are allowing yourself to value how you feel and what it is. And give yourself time. Time to grieve, time to move forwards, time to, ex time to accept, time to bless what's coming in. Because 
you are on top of that. I can see that here. Big card of willpower here, spiritual self coming out, shining, being guided, the yin and the yang of everything. King of Pentacles, you have the Midas touch in your own life. This isn't just necessarily about money and possessions, even though it does link to that house because King of Pentacles is Taurus. You are Earth also, like Taurus. You are determined, you have willpower, you have stamina, and you remain focused, you're grounded, you're also balanced emotionally and spiritually. It just needs you to look at the depth of yourself. To look at anything here of your anxieties and acknowledge them and allow yourself, which is what the Empress is saying here, allow yourself that time. Allow yourself that direction. The direction you're going in again, I feel that you are troubled by which way you want to go. But I don't think it matters. I think it's really important that what you do is you focus on you, and what you want and how you want to do it and don't let the influences of feeling that you don't acknowledge your own emotions bother you because you're overthinking or you're pushing them away and I think because they're all surfacing up you're kind of going I don't want to look at that the cards are actually saying you've done that in the past give yourself a break do look at it but control how you're looking at it and then you'll get the outcome here where you're driving this in the direction you want it to go. So till next time, thanks for joining me. Please do join me for the rest of your cards. Until then, bye bye Capricorn.